I'ma have him sign this joint, you know what I'm saying? He sent me this a couple little, little while ago, you know what I'm saying? Life of a Dawn. You know, I never really opened it. I actually keep it in my living room. I think it's pretty badass. It came with all this shit under here. I had the little card. Barely from the music director. Got the tray, you know what I'm saying? I'ma have him sign it for me. We're gonna talk about the new album. We're gonna talk about the tour here in Dallas. You know what I'm saying? What the vibe was last night. And you know, I haven't found my wallet in days, so I guess I'm gonna use the Don Tolliver wallet that he sent me, you know what I'm saying? Don don't sound like nothing from out of Texas. Don yeah. respects the shit out of all the other Texas shit that come out. Yeah. But, you know, cause we so stuck on that old sound. Right. It's like everywhere else you go in the country, they're always asking about it. And that was fucking 10, 15 years ago. It's a whole nother way. Now, respect to that way. Respect to it, but yeah. we on some shit. We on some other shit, yeah. <laughs> Hey man, we're kicking it with Don Tolliver live in Dallas, putting on for Texas. You heard, you know the vibes. Hey man, say man, welcome today to another episode of Ear to the Street right here on 97.9 to be with your player partner, Hollywood Zay. And today, I got a special invited guest that, in my opinion, is one of the most talented artists that's coming out of Texas right now. Reason being why is because we're so stuck on our old sound, we're so stuck on what we've done already. And it's important that looking back, looking back, we look into the future, but it's also important for us to live in the present. And the present right now, making motion right now in Texas, really with a, its own sound. Let's give it up one time for Don Tolliver, man. Yeah, yeah, what up? What's up, with the gang? How you feeling? Man, I'm feeling righteous, bro. I'm feeling righteous that you're here. It's so important for the Texas culture, for guys like, like, like you, Travis, that have really kind of changed the landscape of what we sound like mm. to be, you know, front and center and just kind of showing people like, yo, bro, we did that. Yeah. But check out what we're doing now. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So what's going down, man? You got a brand new record, Private Landing. Private Landing. And 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 the 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 range on it, like you got Bieber and Future on there. Yeah. Which is like, talk to me about that. Man, the Bieber and Future um ensemble is crazy. I love both of those guys. Justin is a brother. And Future been inspiring me since, you know, I first started doing this. So it's a blessing to have them both on the track, and it's crazy. Right. It's crazy. It's definitely crazy, and it's got a crazy sound to it. And we're going to get into introducing that record real quick, but I also wanted to highlight another record real quick, which is the one with you and your girl, Callie. Mm -hmm. um, amazing sound. Yeah. And, and to be able, you know, a lot of times when we remake records, mm -hmm. they don't always, you know what I'm saying? 100%. But, bro, y'all nailed that shit. It's a vibe, bro. It How hard was good. it to get clearance on that? Cause the sim simmer, like this is. Yeah, it was. It was definitely. They definitely put up a good fight, but we got it, bro. It, but it sounds amazing, though. Yeah, it does. Like, like you know, again, sometimes you 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 go into in, into making a song, but you weren't able to nail it the way the same artist did. Right. Take you know, like creeping with uh uh the weekend. Mm -hmm. You know, like he nailed that. Yeah. It made you almost forget about the one before that. Yeah, for you, real. You know what I'm saying? And that's yeah. kind of the feeling that I got from this one. Like it's kind of like you know what I mean. Do you see like do you see like marriage and stuff in in in, in your future or? One hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely want to get married one day. Yeah. To Cali. I would love to. Ooh, I like that. A man that knows what he wants. This is important in life because sometimes we don't know which direction we go. One hundred percent. That's what that is. That's what that is. So let's go ahead and introduce that record for the first time ever being heard right here in Dallas Fort Worth. We're also going to talk about the tour and you coming to Dallas and all that. But go ahead. My homie Don Tolliver, Don Teasy featuring Bieber and Future is called Private Landing. Uh, first time ever being heard right here in Dallas, Fort Worth. Now, gang, I know we was on on the Future and Friends tour. Yes. Talk to me about that. What was the experience? I seen you doing your thing out there. You had the white socks out. You feel me? Living the your Mike, life. You know what I'm saying? Mike Jack Billy <laughs> yeah, Jeans. Yeah, for real, bro. Me? For real, let's for talk real. about that. Man, because that's um, the first thing I thought. I said, is he on his Billy Jean shit? I'm yeah. on my Billy Jean. I love bro. it. I've been a fan of Mike since I was a kid, and uh, this album, I just been feeling more. I've been feeling more myself. I've been wanting to dance more. I be feeling like Mike. So, you know, it's only right to come out there with the fresh whites and the loafers. Louis loafers. Stone that out there. There was Louis loafers. It was Louis loafers. Prada loafers. It's, it be going on, you know. And you always show it out. And you know what? Can we can we talk about the new album and the range of uh, features on there? Yeah. I mean, because it's. How do you go about how do you go about choosing your features? Honestly, it's like a lot of these people that was on this album either are people that I really just um really um honor their work or they're close friends of mine. Um uh, a lot of these people like Toro, Justin, Wiz are our brothers, my girl, it's my girl, you know. Um 
Wills is very James. One of I I admire his work. Me and him actually sit here and like really get in there and work. Um, everybody on this album pretty much Dirk and Glow. Big fan of everything they do in the hip hop community and rap right now is just amazing. So to have both of them on the record was amazing. And it, the list goes on. Toro Imoy is a San Francisco legend and been inspiring me since I started making music. So it's all of those type of elements. Charlie Wilson. Well, and, and that's what I'm getting at. Like, like the features just seem so wide range. Like yeah. going from Justin Bieber to, you know, uh, uh, Dirk and Glow, and, yeah. and you know Charlie Wilson. Like, yeah. I think that speaks to your to your range, though, mm-hmm. you, and what you're able to do. Like, I remember I, Life After Death, Biggie Smalls, right? Yeah. On that album, he pretty much invited everybody onto his album to do their style. Mm. And for me, in my eyes, when I heard that album, I was like, damn, now I see what people are talking about. And, yeah. and, and I feel like, in a certain way, you're kind of doing that. Yeah, I'm definitely bringing everybody to my world, you know, and I think that's the fun part about making albums and, you know, having people collaborate with you is that at the end of the day, I think the the, the coolest thing to do is to, you know, give the person who you're working with a different type of, you know, playing field or something a little bit, you know, something a little bit different that they're not usually used to because at the end of the day, this is art, you know what I'm saying? I, I want to give the people exactly what they want, but I still have to stay true to the art aspect and keep it creative, create creative, and keep it cool. Right. What was the energy in Dallas inside the AAC last night? It was amazing, honestly. Like, um, this is my first arena uh, um, opening act. Duh. It's my first time opening for anybody. Yeah. Um, and honestly, it's amazing. I, 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 uh, the the energy in the arena is pretty crazy. And what's your favorite thing about Dallas, just kind of like being here? I know it's not your first time, obviously, right? Man, the favorite thing about Dallas is that it has a unique Texas feeling to it. It's something like Houston to me. You know, Houston is home, but this is just a little bit different. It, it, it's very easy going, and uh, it's a lot of love out here. Mm. It's a lot of love out here, and I appreciate all the love, you know, in Dallas. It's really a lot of love out here. And any any last thoughts for the people of Dallas before you go? Honestly, Dallas, I love y'all just as much as I love Houston, and I appreciate everything y'all do. And Texas is 100% on the rise. Don't ever forget that. Mm. Don Tolliver, y'all. Let's give it up for Don Tolliver. (laughs)